Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. What would you what would you say for someone who says, Oh, I recognize that I'm one of these histamine sensitive people? And I'm gonna guess it's probably forty percent of people have some degree of sensitivity. It's higher yeah, than I think 17. that's a good number. They just yeah. don't know. Like sometimes I'm tired after I eat. I'm like, sometimes it's what you ate, and you know, maybe it was that, maybe you're allergic to eggs or something. But when it's that sudden drop after a meal, uh, then you know it it's something. So right. what, what would the basic things, okay, don't eat high histamine foods, which is basically um, leftovers, um, pork that wasn't very, very fresh or fish that wasn't fresh, um, certainly no fish sauce and no fermented soy. I'm trying to get the big ones. Right. Yeah. Um, and, you know, avocado, I, I find is a, is a big problem for people. It's Alcohol. Not fresh. Yeah. Well, and just sometimes in general, I mean, it, it's, you know, uh, a histamine producing food for whatever, you know, strawberries, which you would think, like, why would strawberries bother me? Citrus fruits, um, based definitely fermented foods, and alcohol, I think are the biggest hitters. And, you know, aged meats, aged cheeses, all that stuff with because it's the fermentation process. So, um, I would say, you know, cut out the biggest hitters. And in my book, I have a yes, no, and maybe list because I really try to get people to be able to eat as much as they can. So I say, just start with eliminating the no foods. And that's kind of like the foods we named. Well, what um, I do is I minimize those foods, but there's times when I'm like, look, we, we raise the best pork on the planet. Mm-hmm. And we actually tell them, don't hang it for a long time, freeze it when it's still fresh. So there isn't right. any breakdown of the proteins to make histamine. Um, but if I'm going to eat something that I know is maybe a leftover, I will take DAO, which is an enzyme that you can buy that helps break it down. And yeah. I'll take a part of a Benadryl and I can do it. And I don't eat three-day-old guacamole because it's just bad. But if it's from good <laughs> avocados that don't have black spots, 